You are looking at a live picture from our Roanoke Blacksburg Airport sky cam. Still some breaks of sunshine, but we're seeing more clouds right now in comparison to what we had out there not more than three to four hours ago. Started out the day with some filtered sun and now we're mostly cloudy across the region. This is in advance of a cold front that is to the west. It's heading east. It's a fast mover. It's going to be in and out of here in a span of probably about three to six hours. So tomorrow it's not going to be with us anymore, but we will have that chance for a few showers overnight tonight. Future tracker showing that at seven o'clock we're still dry. We're mostly cloudy, but we're still dry after about maybe nine, 930. That's when we're going to start to see some spotty showers arriving. I do think that the best chance to pick up on a few showers will be along and west of the parkway. You head east of the parkway. The chance for a few sprinkles is there, but the chance for rain is a little bit lower. OK, we are looking at any showers ending by around three, four o'clock in the morning. Thursday may awaken to a few clouds left over from last night's little frontal boundary, but it won't take long at us at all on Thursday to turn mostly sunny. Once we turn mostly sunny on Thursday, we're going to stay that way all day long. And really, even as we head into the day on Friday, we are looking at more sun than clouds. So Thursday and Friday, we should see more sun than in comparison to what we've had out there over the last couple of days. Tomorrow, with us uh, having a little more sunshine, going to have breezy conditions as well, but high temperatures right around 60. And I think that breeze is going to kind of carry some of that warmth down to the surface as the air is going to mix a little bit. So that's why we're thinking temperatures tomorrow will be a little bit warmer and then probably not as warm on Friday with highs in the middle 50s, a cooler day, but with high pressure pretty much docked overhead. That means for us more sunshine. So let's take a look at that bus stop forecast. 7 a.m. You're looking at temperatures 30s to near 40. Very chilly start to the day, but here's the deal. As we head into the afternoon, we're going to have more sunshine. Temperatures warm, but it's going to be gusty with temperatures by around 3 o'clock in the upper 50s to near 60. Winds tomorrow between 7 and 14 miles per hour, maybe as high as 16, 17 miles per hour, sustained with some gusts, perhaps in excess of 25 miles per hour. By the way, uh, the wind direction tomorrow will be out of the west or northwest, so that is uh, among one of our uh, areas that we look for for our winds to be at their strongest. Okay, when you have a west or northwest wind, they're typically stronger winds than, say, if they come out of the east. Temperatures stand right now 36 in Hot Springs, 44 in Lynchburg, 47 Smith Mount Lake. It's 41 in Hillsville and Galax, but it's a little warmer in Withville at 48. We're going to take the plunge as we head into Sunday behind the front. That front is going to pull in colder air and the jet stream is going to take a big old dip as well, allowing colder air to filter down to the south from Canada. But notice that it's going to be milder out to the west, and that me leads me to believe that this cold spell that we have as we head into Sunday, even into Monday, is not going to last all that long. So for tonight, spotty showers are possible with lows in the 30s and 40s. As we head into the day tomorrow, we're looking at skies quickly turning mostly sunny, breezy, warmer, highs in the 50s to near 60, although you could stay in the 40s up towards the highlands. All right, your extended forecast, upper 50s on Saturday. Very good chance for rain on Saturday, especially in the afternoon and evening. Drying out, windy though on Sunday, 48. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, we're partly to mostly sunny. I do think that the clouds will start to thicken though by later Wednesday afternoon.